Where's your girlfriend? Finishing her breakfast? I hear you guys don't do well in bed. That must be why she chose to take the night shift, huh? Maybe I should teach her. Hmm? How are you anyway? One on one. Out of the way. Good morning. Morning. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we do a restaurant? If you want, I can cook dinner. Do you? I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Why aren't you on shift? I warned them. So you sure you don't want me to drive you? Vash, I'm fine. So much for being in lockup. Oh, I'm ready for freedom. I'm just afraid that you might decide to cure me of another ulcer or remove the pressure completely. Oleg, the MRI was fixed. Go to the capsule before you go. Last time, the picture was not of optimal quality. Keep in mind, if you discover one more disease in me, you'll be put on the bed next to me, understand? Am I imagining things from what I'm seeing? Unfortunately not. Hey guys, did you fall asleep in there? What's with the faces? Did you two see a dinosaur? Oleg Viktorovich, indeed there are some changes. We got a new neurologist the other day, Bagarov. Go see him. Bagarov's a psychiatrist, no? Two residencies, two specializations. Look, are you really interested? I don't know, maybe read something more relevant about life, hmm? Well, but the people haven't changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, who do you see yourself as? Hmm? As a 14-year-old noblewoman mm -hmm, who babbles no. in French? Mm -hmm. So who then? Maybe as a duke who talks to an oak tree. <laughs> no, but you said you haven't read it. Listen. This Russian language is... Husband? <clears throat> he says he's not coming today. Listen, I've already stopped filtering where the truth and the lies are. It's so obvious. Why do you put up with it? I don't know. Well, well, well. Hi, doctor. There was a round, and I could not find you in your room. Please proceed to the examination room. And me? You'll be examined later. Oh, okay. Tell me, is there any information about the parents of the triplets? Uh, not yet. When there is, I'll tell you. Let's go. Natalia's waiting. Okay. Aaron, uh... I watched the tapes of the World Championships in Paris. The way you pulled the barbell in your third attempt in the push-pull, uh, well, it made me believe that people can achieve anything. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, hence, a prize for me personally. <laughs> and a very special thanks for this orange. Uh, this way, Natalia is waiting. Uh, Michael? What's your surname? Chamberlainovich. So anything new? Michael Chamberlainovich? The fetal heartbeat is clear, rhythmic. Mm-hmm. No bradycardia? 
Yes. It's pronounced. The fetus is suffering. The baby? Don't worry, please. Michael Chamberlainovich listened attentively to the beating of your abdominal aorta, because the fetal heartbeat is much lower. Thank you. Genya, sit down. Let's do an ultrasound. Excuse me, doctor. Come in. Oleg Viktorovich, need some support? What is this? Some kind of family psychotherapy? I think not. Should I wait outside? What do you think? I'll be right here. Here, information about the new interns. Not much so far, that's all there is. Mm, thank you. Uh, Dina Rafalovna, is it true that you are not only the keeper of official information, but also unofficial information? Yuri Alexievich, I consider it unprofessional to say something personal about people who I've been working with a while. In any case, it's not part of my job description. <laughs> What if I ask you to expand it a little bit? Do you want me to resign? Why don't you just say so? No. I'm interested in Inga Lizarova. What, where, when, with whom, and why. Off to my rounds. Think about it. Igor Konstantinovich, let's dispense with the additional analysis and such. I know all these games. Clearly they've examined me head to toe and asked me a thousand questions. MRI showed multiple demyelinating lesions, plus increased tendon reflexes, plus some other minor signs, shoes worn to one side. My diagnosis is multiple sclerosis and a very rapid development of right-sided hemiparesis. So how many years? Till I become a vegetable. Maybe a year, maybe ten. You know it yourself. The earlier it's detected, the faster it progresses. I know. Oleg Viktorovich. Yes? Goodbye. Dad? Oh, look at the mess you've made with radiology. Turns out I'm fresh as a cucumber and healthy as a buffalo. Hup. Grab your bag, call a taxi. Dad, wait, what did he tell you? You've been here a long time and we haven't had a proper conversation. Hi. Hi. How is Germany? It's good. My job and my career. Hmm. And you? I'm running the center. <laughs> Who would have thought that a year ago? <sighs> yes, a lot has changed in a year. By the way, Olga, I was actually very surprised that your company started research here. What do you mean? Well, maybe you don't know. Things are quite complicated around here. And you and I both know it will only get worse. I have a different opinion on this. I think we'll take a risk. Olga, listen, why would you risk it? Let me give you a few better and more reliable options. Hmm? Or are you here for Lazarev? Maybe you're here for Pazanov. Have you decided to exchange your comfortable place for the war trenches? I understand. 
But you should also understand, Ruslan, no one will make you head of department anyway. It's pretty much guaranteed that you'll have less money and status. Why would you want that? If I'm not needed as an obstetrician, I'll leave. Listen, don't be like Batmitjeva. It doesn't suit you. Work quietly in your place. We'll involve you in serious operations anyway, slowly but surely. In the meantime, we'll find a decent reproductologist in your place. Anyway, tomorrow free up the morning and start making your rounds. Like the rest of us mortals. <laughs> Is that a deal? Why are you looking at her like that? Is something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. Just a familiar face. I thought I'd seen her somewhere. Why did you suspect preeclampsia? Chest pains. On top of that, during pregnancy, her blood pressure was up to 160 over 90. She says she took adrenal mimetics with no effect. And now? BP 104 over 60. Already administered magnesia relanium. She's close to labor, so I came straight to you. Looks like preeclampsia. Nikolovich. Okay, sped all the tests. Urine by catheter and uh -huh. an anesthetist. She's close to having convulsions. Uh huh. Michael, you made one forgivable mistake for a newcomer, but then you didn't make a sound for your entire round. Everyone makes mistakes. I look for those who learn quickly from their mistakes. I chose you for your courage and self confidence. If this was your typical performance. No. No. The biological parents of the triplets are dead. But there must be some other relatives. Go find them. Evgenia will give you the contact of a policeman who may help you. The OR is ready. OK, thank you. Yuri Alexevich, I'm sorry, but we're losing time. Just a moment. Like Paganini, Spider Woman. Spider Woman. That's what they called her as a child. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. And how tall is she? 1.9 meters. Was she always this slim? Yes, since she was little. Is she smart? Yes, she always mocked me for not being as clever. What does she compose, poems or music? She does both. Doesn't work anywhere, earns nothing, and can lie on the sofa for half a year. Frequent bronchitis. Dad was also tall and slim, maybe even a musician. How do you know that? So, what do we have here? We have an asthenic physique, hyperplasia of muscular tissues, arachnodactyly kyphoscoliosis, plus an IQ off the top of the scale and an uncontrollable urge to create. If we take all of these symptoms and put them together, we have? Marfan syndrome. Bravo, Natalia Bakmecheva. Which means she has an aortic aneurysm dissection. And in 29 years, this went unnoticed? What if it is eclampsia after all? Didn't you hear? We're starting conservative therapy. Please call a vascular surgeon and a cardiologist for consultation. And urgently. OK. Yuri Alexievich. Yep. You are not so easy to catch. Ah, maybe I just don't need to be caught. I'm talking about the drug research that Olga started at the center. And? Tell her no. <laughs> Why? An institution under investigation cannot possibly make commitments of that nature. The center could be closed before the research is finished, and this will jeopardize the whole of Russian medicine. You know, I believe that Russian medicine will somehow survive. And I, in turn, would like to remind you that your boss has set a task for me to bring the center out of crisis. And if I may have your gracious permission, I'll do as I see fit. Hmm. Maybe Natalia and I will have a word after all, huh? You could try. And maybe I, in turn, will talk to my old friend Gaina and tell him that while he's in there preparing the divorce papers, now, here you are fighting for the success of one charming reproductologist's career and trying to get his new girlfriend thrown out of the center. Tell me, Inga, do you really think this information will not affect your marriage plans? Oh, 
what happened. The vascular surgeon has given a preliminary opinion that Pavlova does indeed have Marfan syndrome and suspected aortic dissection and dilation. Well done, you've guessed everything. You gave too many clues. Now we just need to get her out of the acute state. Yeah, the slightest physical strain and the aorta will burst. We should do a CT scan along with a contrast agent. Prohibited technique? Do we have a choice? We have to confirm the diagnosis. If you don't mind, of course. I don't mind. What's taking her so long? Can't see the veins. Okay, I'll go calm her down. Otherwise, she'll die and we'll be finished. So? What's up? How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. That's good. So tell me, is Patricia your creative name? No. As funny as it sounds. Mm -hmm. So you're a musician. Father chose your name? Mother did. I know she doesn't look like an intellectual. That's a separate story. I'm sorry. Doctor, please tell me. My baby will have Marfan too, won't it? 50-50 chance. Mm. Lucky me. Well, who's your baby's daddy? The truth is, I don't even know his phone number. Okay, it's ready. Quiet, <clears throat> quiet, take it easy. Gurney, over here, quick! Natalia Vladimirovna. Yes, Michael? Your assignment has been completed. Did you find the relatives of the triplets? Yep. Found both grandparents. They're waiting near your office. You did that really quickly. Well done to you. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't tell me about the phone. I always thought I had nothing in common with my mother. I was even proud of it. But I did everything just like her. Party in a random crowd with no one familiar, and suddenly him. Love at first sight? He said at first word. I sang my song there. You know, I always thought I was some kind of Martian. Suddenly my soulmate. He had to go out in the morning. He took my phone and disappeared and left me with all of this. Doctor, what if I end up not making it? Will you save the baby? Hello. Hello. You have one minute. Thank you very much. your illness right away. I should have taken you to the doctor a long, long time ago. I'm so sorry. Mom, <laughs> you don't have to say goodbye to me. I'm not dead yet. You know her? I've seen her before. I just can't remember where. Maybe in the clubs. I used to work as a bartender. Uh-huh. Well, I don't go to clubs. But I feel the same way, like I've seen her somewhere. All right, I'm gonna go. I've got an IV to put in. It's impossible. Excuse me. 
Since childhood, David has been telling us all, even the smallest details of his life. No, it's impossible. I'm telling you this scammer decided to profit from our grief. The accident was in the news. What does she expect? That we, two old, happy idiots, will sign over the flat to her? I perfectly understand how you're both feeling right now. But please hear me out. In the life of any person, especially a man who has lived his life with a sense of dignity, there may be a situation when he will not be sincere and open even with the people who are closest to him. Mm, we're not suggesting you take our word for it, but you must have some personal belongings of your son, something that belonged to your daughter-in-law. We can do a DNA test and tell you if this is your granddaughter. I don't know. We've had a lot of pain and disappointment in our lives already. Excuse me. And they are so afraid of this pain that they will not give a chance of happiness to them or others. They'll come back. I bet the wife will. What do you think? Patricia, what's wrong? Are you unwell? Help, please. Help, please! Patricia, what's wrong? What's going on? BP, 70 over 40. Prepare the OR. Save my daughter, please! Take the mother away. I don't need a CT, it's a dissection. I'm calling the vascular surgeon. Give it to me. Thanks. Stitches. Done. Well, our work here is done. Colleagues, now it's over to you. Tools. You're absolutely right. A large section of abdominal aorta is dissected. Start in the endoprothesis. Thank God. We made it in time. Is that her? That's her. Where did you find it? People, the day before yesterday, I met the most extraordinary girl on Earth. I lost her phone. I don't know her name. But I know that she writes poetry, sings songs, and lives in the city on the Neva. Please help me find her. I'm sure it's love. Wow. And exactly nine months ago. It's definitely him. Accidental dad. Well, Michael, you shouldn't be a doctor. You should be a psychic detective. Will you send this to me? Sure. How do you feel, Patricia? I'm feeling okay. Your son doesn't have Marfan syndrome.
for you. Please don't look now, I'm a bit embarrassed. Okay. Natalia, do you have a piano anywhere? Will you show me? I have to go home. I don't recognize you. You used to be much more reverent about signs of attention from patients, especially like this. I remember now for some reason how one time the lights went out in the dorm and I couldn't drive away from you, remember? I do. An order came from the city health department to fire your Lazarev. Why wasn't he fired then straight away? With Kashina and Samiradov? I have no idea. It's amazing that you're still trying to influence me with such methods. Natul, stop it. It's not me. It's the city health department. I can't argue with them. You used to be able to argue with any official in this country, if you wanted to. To the city? No, to the center. Because if it's because of Andrei Lazarev, then I should know about it. Uh, yes, I made it all happen. Lobbied for it, organized it. When I found out that his wife died. What about Bakhmativa? What about her? She's Joan of Arc. They have some other kind of happiness. Yeah, to defeat the British and burn alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly not live peacefully at home with a loved man. And now there has to be some kind of a but. But... When you and I met at the conference, I already decided I was going to say no. I kept thinking about... 
how I would arrive, what I would say. I've been replaying the scene over and over again, and then I remembered. All the pain and hopelessness that came every time he showed up. When he showed up? <laughs> Can you believe it? I was just opening the door. And I knew for sure that in an hour, in two hours, in a day, he'd still be gone. No matter what I did, no matter what I said. He just wouldn't allow himself to be happy. <laughs> then I don't understand all the more. Why'd you come back? Because it's been so long since I just felt good. Remember that time in New York? We were running around the city like two crazy animals. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that this is where I saw my first dawn on the Neva. I remember, of course you did. You know, I've seen many unforgettable sunsets here back in the day. <laughs> yes. That's just scary, Lazarev, how we get along. Yeah. Natalia. I want to ask you a question. There's a man in the water! That's it. Let's pull. A bit more. Oh, no. Just a moment. In general, I did a lot of things. Gymnastics, freestyle wrestling. Mm -hmm. And at 15, we lived side by side with weightlifters at training camps. I see. Did you fall in love with the sport or with the weightlifter? You're a strange doctor, Nikolovich. So, you're more interested in my story than in my diagnosis. Professionally unfit? No, not at all. Thank you very much for persuading me to stay. Mm -hmm. Because if a complication happened at home, this would not have been possible. All of my life, I've been told that professional sports will kill my hormones, especially weightlifting or the world championships. Having children isn't even a question. I didn't want to win much. I just really wanted to be close to him, that's all. I see. And I brought you the book I promised you. Yes? Read it at your leisure. <laughs> Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> and who is Nadia, nicknamed the eighth wonder of the world? <laughs> so we're friends in misery. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. What was that now, huh? Why did he have to die straight away? Hitting on doctors, huh? I see your belly doesn't stop you. You're one to talk. What? What are you mumbling? 
If I see that redhead again, I swear. He is my doctor. What? Fear is everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. I forgot. You've got a whole support group here. Let's go. Let go, it hurts. Edith, you're hurting me. Oh, don't touch me. Who made you who you are now, you dirtbag? Please don't touch me. Huh? I ruined my career because of you. Do you understand? Please, please. You're nothing without please, me. Someone. Edik, please. Who made you? A failure into a champion, huh? Please help. Someone is beating a woman. Upstairs, she's my roommate. There. Please don't. Hands off her. What did you say? I said take your hands off her. You're a golden head protector. What are you gonna do to me? What? Are you gonna shake your fat? No! Does he turn you on now? Oh, please. Well, does he? Stop! Do you like it? Please stop, please. Another Don't month. anger at the gods, we almost reached the 32nd week. The fact that we've lasted this long after the onset of labor is already fantastic. That's why we don't cry, we give birth. Understand? Come on, darling. Push. You've got this. Push, push, push. Keep going. Come on, come on. You've got this. Push, Keep push. Going. Come on now. Well, there you go. What a good girl. Okay, now we're gonna push and give birth to the baby. Come on, push. Okay. Come on, just a little bit more. Marie, check. Tanya, check. Who's next? Sonia. Sonia, that means wisdom, right? Original Armenian name. Come on. You've got this, you've got this. Keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Isla. You can do anything. Natalia Vladimirovna. Their parents died, didn't they? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Just a little bit more. Well done. As soon as it's confirmed that they will live, we call the press. Feeling better? And how's Alia? Alia's fine. She gave birth. A full set, like Chekhov's three sisters. Mm. Alexei Nikolovich. Quiet, quiet. What are you trying to tell me? That I'm as handsome as Marlon Brando? No, this is all my fault. I've been bowing down to him since I was 15. And he got used to it. He was the one who won it, that world championship. I understand, but you're the one who made it. So it's a reason to hate, abuse, and cheat? Do you know what the most frustrating thing is? That you really think it's love. Yeah, this is some kind of thing of Russian woman, you know? Love should be suffering and sacrifice. Oh. Er, you're an amazing woman. Amazing. Amazing, just see it. It's okay. I'll keep the kids.
Yuri Alexievich is asking for you, Natalia. The film crew are here. You rest. I'll come back later. Admittedly, I would very much like to imagine what happened was a result of my efforts alone. But no, no. Uh, to be fair, I have to say that this particular decision, a very brave decision, to prolong the pregnancy in order to give life to two more babies, was not mine. That decision was made by head of the OR department, Natalia Vladimirovna Pakmicheva. We took a big risk, a very big one. But once again, Natalia Vladimirovna has proved to me and to all of us that the impossible is possible. I'm very happy. I am proud that our center employs such a talented, unique specialist, Natalia Vladimirovna Pachmicheva. Natalia Vladimirovna, please comment. We wouldn't have succeeded if it hadn't been for their brave mom, who was ready to risk her life to save the children. Everything turned out like the bumblebee, which by all laws of aerodynamics should not fly, but is totally unaware and flies anyway. <laughs> Yeah. That's Thank it. You. <laughs> Good night. Good evening. So, you didn't get any trouble at home yesterday for the theater? And you? You know, not me. Ashka didn't even notice that I came home late last night. She was engrossed in an English lesson on uh, Skype. So, you and I had a secret date? Lucky us. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe we can do it again sometime? Alexander Anatolovich, I hope you are not making me seriously consider becoming your fifth wife someday. Yeah. Bye then. Bye. You know, I've always appreciated women with a good sense of humor. See you. Natalia Vladimirovna, hi. I was watching the news report. They showed the child, the little girl. She looks just like David as a baby. She has the same eyes, same hair. Can I see the children? Yes, of course. Thank you. Michael? Yes. Please, can you take Miriam Armanovna to the neonatology room? Let's go. You're at the wrong office by mistake? I did make a mistake. When I saw you for the first time back then in the classroom, it kind of hit me. Made a mistake, said to myself, it doesn't mean anything. There are many other girls like that out there. Made a mistake when I left you that night. Made a mistake when I put my car away and let you drive off. I've made many mistakes. And now it's not me, but someone else who gets up at night to my son's cries. That's not your son. <sighs> Natash, please, come on. I know that you had nothing with Bazanov. You ended things. And it took him a long time to put himself back together. And that Lazarev of yours showed up much later. Natashka, I know I've caused you a lot of pain. But it wasn't all pain. Misha is not your son. We have no connection. I have something that I need to confess to you. I stole Mishka's dummy and took it to the lab. Will you tell me the truth, or shall I call the lab? He's not your son. Yaroslav Nikolaevich, hi. You well? Right.
Wait, are you sure? And it's not a mistake? I see. And I keep thinking, why is Mishka's hair so dark? <laughs> 